Hey guys, here we have uh, the Venus flytrap. Um, it's clustered up here. We're propagating it, which is just really just reproducing it or splitting it into two or three. So I'm washing it underneath the water and I'm loosely breaking them apart. See that one broke apart. If you look closely at this one that I'm washing right now, it's got a lot of rot on it. And that's the one that I'm wanting to get away from the other ones because I, I suspected that it was rotting, and um, that's not a good thing when you're growing Venus flytraps. At least, ultimately, it's not a good thing. It's something I want to get away from. So, I wash those. And then, I look at it and I inspect it. As you can see, this thing has a lot of rot on it. I will try and replant it, but first I'm going to cut away the unnecessary abscesses. So... Here I am just cutting off pieces very carefully. Anything that's brown or dead I'll just cut off, but I won't cut the living tissue because then you're just making it available for more infection to happen. So then I wrap it with clean new sphagnum moss and I place it into the terrarium and I place it, you know, nice and gently add it in. Here I am with another one wrapping that with sphagnum moss. Digging out a little hole, putting it in, patting it down, and then I think I'm going to be watering it, watering them. So, you know, obviously you just put new clean sphagnum moss, you need to keep it moist, keep them in a moist situation and I'm just watering every little one that I just did. So, as you can see, they, they look pretty good. I'm just checking out how the moisture took on the sphagnum moss, and it did take 